to Stapleford Abbots Golf Club and for another charity fundraiser for Great Ormond Street Hospital organised by the wonderful Morris Newman. It's a beautiful day and we're delighted to be here. Beside me, players checking in for their rounds, and as you can imagine, a day like this it takes so much organisation between the players coming in, checking in. We got breakfast going, we got coffee, and as you can see, we're going to have a little bit of a raffle. And Joe, you've got a lovely table here, and uh, lots of interesting things as well. You're going to have to tell me a little bit about these. Of we have very kindly been given that by the Red Arrows, Commander De uh, Davy, and Henry Cooper has given us this one. And the others are all raffle prizes. We've got some football t-shirts as well. And it's five pound a strip. And we're going to be picking it up later on. And we'll hopefully. And people have been very kind to give us all that stuff. Um, and yeah, all the money obviously goes back to Great Ormond Street. Uh, I'm very glad to see you all here, Rachel. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to be here too. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, John said to me, he said you were going to be here. And I said, well, if all the guys knew that, they'd all be here. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is the cue to enjoy your golf with your balloons. You're looking fantastic. You're here for Morris. Obviously, he's been incredible over 50 years fundraising for Great Ormond Street and such an amazing cause and difficult times. It's just so good to see the day on. Yeah, he's done really well again on the setup he's got on today with the times that we're having at the minute. Yeah, he's done really well. It's a great setup and it'll be a great day. Morris is an amazing man. I think rightly called a legend. Uh, as far as his long-standing charity involvement with Great Ormond Street. He's been raising funds like this and annual fundraisers uh, for over 50 years and he's kept in touch with all the people like Teddy Sheringham, John Conte over many, many years. Um, so we're really grateful and we want to mark today in particular to mark and celebrate his 50 years of service. You've got 34 teams playing up here, 34 teams of four. Right, coming up and playing, supporting the charity. And then we've got uh, 100 guests coming up here after lunch. Um, well, Millwall, Nottingham Forest, Tottenham, West Ham, Manchester United when they won the triple in 99. Took the medals, three medals. Uh, played 54 caps for England. Uh, it was quite a successful Teddy. He's very close to you, Teddy. Teddy is, yeah, like a son, yeah. Supports me right through the years up here. Every, every charity I've done, he supported me. As I say, if you went round here today, you'll find people from the dog game, boxing, football. They're all businessmen. They're all people who supported me down the years. And uh, listen, Jim, they all say, Morris Newman does this, Morris Newman does that. Morris Newman can't do it about these people. But there's some up here today, just little working class boys that have come up here and if they pull the tent up the raffle, they'll put them in the raffle, you know, they bid for a little bit of gear. And it all raises money. You know? uh, tell us, first of all, why you're here and how important it is with Morris. Uh, well, that is the reason I'm here, Morris Newman. Uh, I've known him for a very long time now. He spotted me as a youngster, as a footballer, and um, probably I owe my career to him, really. He, he showed great faith in me when I was a youngster, when, when you're not quite sure of yourself, 10, 11, 12. And um, I used to play in a good team, Beaumont, and um, we had some very good players around us. And you know, Martin Hayes, I don't know if you know these names, from, from years ago, Martin Hayes, Jimmy Carter, Perry Sucklin, and we'd win four or five nil, and, and Martin had scored three. Jimmy would be brilliant on the wing. And Morris had come up to me, and, and I'd be a little bit down that I hadn't scored, and he'd be like, he was fantastic again today, son. Knit it all together, and I was like, really? Do you really think so? And, you know, he kept on at me, kept telling me how good I was, and, and before I knew it, I believed in it. 
myself and uh, I went on to bigger and better things and I've got a lot to thank him for. So and the charity today, I'm here today, the charity today have a lot to thank him for. He's been fundraising for Great Ormond Street for over 50 years, which when you put it into perspective, it's, it's insane really what he's achieved. Yeah, uh, again, that, that's why I'm here for Morris, because I know he puts himself out to earn a lot of money for Great Ormond Street. And uh, what a fantastic cause to, to, to do it for. Uh, he does it uh, with the Greyhounds and all different charities, Daisy has, and uh, I'm glad to be here to support him. We're happy that you're here. How about the golf? Do you enjoy it? Do you play much? Yeah, yeah, I've just bought my balloon. I've got a mulligan in case I hit a couple of bad shots out there. So, um, you know, I'm here to enjoy it today, but uh, competitive as well. I want to put out a good score. Good. There's already been a lot of chat about mulligans and balloons and all sorts. Well, these are the lovely ladies that are dishing them out. So tell us about them. What a brilliant idea. Well, they're basically, for today, for the golfers, if they do a bad shot, then they get to take the shot again. These are £10 pound a balloon. All the money goes to the charity. Um, so all the golfers that go past, we sell them a balloon. So it looks quite colourful on the uh, golf course as well. And basically, they, they make a bad shot. They want to retake. They let the balloon go. Uh, they were so proud of Morris, you know, um, everything he's done. Yeah, oh yeah, we all are, all the family are, because he's just done it for years and years, and it's not just the ch charity, he's done it for other charities as well, he's done, you know, for like the dogs and everything else, so, yeah, we're really proud of him, and he keeps on going, I think while he's here, he'll always be doing it, he's not going to retire when it comes to charity, he's had to retire from his dogs because of his age and not walking so good, but other than that, he's, uh, he's doing pretty well. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful to support Morris, especially I've known him 50 years now. So, uh, and I made contact with him about a year ago. We lost contact for a long time. But it's really, really good to support the uh, cause, as it were. And also see Morris again, he's a great guy. Well, it's really, really important because uh, I think Ormond Street rely heavily on public donation. And at the moment, people are probably uh, put it to one side in their minds. But it raises awareness and uh, hopefully we'll raise a lot of money today. Well, John, it's lovely to see you here once again um, on time. Yeah, it's great to be here again uh, on time, as you say, Rachel. I uh, come the right way this time. <laughs> and what brings you here again? I know yourself and, and Morris go way back. Yeah, we do. We're involved with the charities, uh, London Ex Liebe, London Ex Boxers Association, uh, with Morris and Phil, Phil Newman, he's his son. And, uh, but this is a great charity, the Great Ormond Street Hospital. So uh, he asked me to come and play here. So it's uh, played a couple of times for, in the charity. So it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here. And you like a day out as well. You love the golf. I love the golf. Yes, you know, the only way to get better really, or even if you're not getting better, you've got to be out here playing anyway. So uh, it's uh, tough at the moment with the charities. I play a lot of different charities, so uh, because there's not so many going out because of the uh, pandemic. But uh, it's great to be out today. No, someone just give me a thousand pounds, don't worry. There you go, Morris. Oh, look. Have that on me, but I'll need it back later. Well, oh, yeah, well, uh, Dave Prem, over there. He's got two horses running today, so we have a double or what? Yeah. <laughs> it has been stressful at times, yes. It's been good, obviously, getting the amount of teams that we've got. Um, it's just yeah, been chasing people for entry fees, getting their teams, people have been chopping and changing, just changing it all, but it's, it's, it's been good. He put so much effort into it, I'd feel terrible if I didn't come and support him, you know. I've always been a good old supporter of Spread Street because um, 
underground area. We had, a, yes. we had one of our girls when she was young with arthritis there, and uh, they're doing very well. And she's fine and healthy now, touch wood. And you're in with somebody yeah, else. We did the great house of stress, really, and uh, that's why any, any chance, <laughs> well, you can't put some for Boris, can you? Because he keeps on until you do anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think the world of Morris and Vera. Yeah. I think, you know, he's what he's uh, done for Great Ormond Street, injured jockeys thing at Walthamstow and then Natalie other places, but uh, he's just a marvellous man. They, they, they're not making any more of Morris's and we just have to soak up his enthusiasm or he's still able to do it. Morris had a very, very good little dog and he wanted to bet it that night. And um, he said to, John Faint, whose dog was very old and uh, but classy, he was probably Morris's only danger. John says, Morris, do you fancy your dog tonight? Morris, Morris, he said, this dog's a cripple, he said, he can't run like he used to. That's all right, John, that's all I want to hear. So Morris lumped on <laughs> and John's Faint, Johnny Faint's dog came out like a rocket <laughs> and beat Morris. Well, to see two elderly gentlemen having a stand-up row in the middle of Arlo dog track it was worth its weight in gold. Uh, he's fantastic, that <laughs> one, I'll tell you. We met him last. Everybody knew Morris Newman. Everybody knew Morris Newman. You know, at one stage, probably the most famous scout in the UK. Morris, yeah. Yeah, everybody. Everybody knew Morris. I'm a scout myself. Yeah, Morris was, uh, yeah. Morris always followed us as well. So he's always come to our soccer schools. I used to run a team called Snaresbrook. And Morris would always come to our, watch our games. We had some good players, you know. So, he's uh, yeah. he's always been around. He knew every player. He knew everyone, and yeah. he knew quality. But I mean, yeah. Morris. When I played for Morris at Woodford Town, our team was phenomenal. And he probably won't be known about his managing career, but uh, he was a brilliant manager. He would speak to the lads and speak to every and make them feel a million dollars. I can remember like when he was Beaumont, Beaumont Youth Centre and the amount of stuff he'd done, it was, a big, it was all tower blocks where Morris used to do Beaumont and he, a lot of them kids, you know, they would be probably in prison now if it weren't for Morris. Yeah. Stuff he's done for them. Yeah. yeah. And they were probably the biggest team in London when Morris was there, involved Beaumont. Yeah. Everybody, even today, you would meet people in their 50s and 60s and say Beaumont. Beaumont, play for Beaumont. And yeah. say it with pride. Yeah. Yeah, he's incredible. Man. Yeah. incredible. Yeah. I'll go back to Morris. Uh, I'm 59 this year. I've been knowing Morris since I was about 7 or 8. He used to run all the local football teams, Beaumont Football Club. And I've kept in touch with nearly all those years. He's, a, he's like, been like a father to me. He's a lovely man, very generous, and uh, he's, he's just a gentleman. Yeah, no, it's nice to obviously come and catch up with everyone. Um, but obviously the charities at this time of the time of the world and in the crisis, this is the time they need everyone to sort of step up and show their support for them, to be honest with you. Obviously, um, just all for a good cause, and that's what it's all about. Like we can see it by the people here. They're all, they're all good donators here. All nice family people. It's a great event. It's like you can listen to the buzz now. It's like everyone's got stories to tell. There's a lot of faces here from the, all the old places and that. It's nice to be here, to see some people. Yeah. Morris was the manager. Yeah, we won everything. A lot of the footballers come through Beaumont. There's through like Beaumont, Senrab, Tigers. Um, yeah, there's some good teams there. Now, I think down my road, I lived in Leytonstone, East London. I think we had five footballers down the same road. So that was the good old days then, yeah, it was good days. So. And uh, being a scratch golfer, is that how you got the job at UK Packaging? We <laughs> <laughs> have to ask Tony that. But, um, you know, we, uh, we're all here to, to, to do our best and set our packaging and, and give people solutions and, and that's what it's all about. And these, these are the great days that we can all enjoy when things are going well and, and supporting great charities and, and people and getting together, it's, uh, it's the main yeah. thing. I met Morris a few years ago. Coincidentally, um, Morris is the cousin of Phil Newman, who obviously owns the golf course here today, um, and has been involved in some of our syndicates over the years. And sort of through friends of friends, has become a friend of uh, a friend of ours himself. And um, so Morris, through his charity work, 
and his interest in the racing. Um, I'll probably speak to Morris a couple, of, a couple of times or more a week, and uh, yeah, he's been a big follower of the horses, and um, yeah, we're delighted to help out sort of where we can really with his charity work. Yeah, I've known Morris since I was a kid, like really young age, and uh, I've had dogs with Morris when I was young. At, at Harlow and that, and been around his house, sitting there with Vera on a few occasions and having a cup of tea, yeah, but what he does for Great Ormond Street is like second to none, and Harry hasn't got an OBE or an MBE or whatever, the, whatever these sort of things they give people. Definitely 80 odd years of age, been doing it for 40, 50 years, however many years he has. Yeah, just, the things he does, you know, not, you can't speak highly enough of him. Did a football career with young people and boxing and everything else, he's just, you know, great, really fantastic person and uh, deserves it. Please God he gets the MBE or OBE because he, he will it. As a Londoner, Steve, and Great Ormond Street charity for kids, you know, when I was brought up in Islington, and it, that was the children's hospital that everyone loved, you know, and God forbid we never want, ever wanted to go in it, you know, but we do everything we can to try, and I'll never forget when I was a kid, they thought I had polio at some stage, and I was in a Bart's Hospital in London, and then they were going to take me to Great Ormond Street, and luckily enough we got over that, and uh, anything this man does, you know, if you can't drive 400 miles there and back, then you can't do it for no one, can you? You know what I mean? I think they've done brilliantly. It's a great setting, a wonderful venue. Some great people here, a lot of business people supporting Great Ormond Street Hospital for the children, the great cause. Uh, but also, it's a great social day out. And although we're all having to socially distance and, you know, small groups of us, I think it's been a fantastic day and I'm really pleased that I was able to come. Well, I'm only here because of Morris. I, I know how hard he's worked to make today possible. But also, all the years he's been raising uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds for, for good causes. And I'd like to pay tribute to him. And I, that's why I've left the House of Commons today and come, come to this event to give him my support. But I do have to go back later because we've got votes in Parliament. Boris needs me. So I will be going back, but it's been great to be here. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's turned out to support a fantastic day and I hope lots of money is raised for a fantastic cause. I suppose I've known Morris for about 25 years, I would imagine, possibly even longer than that. So um, I've always described him as, as probably the most or the best connected man in sport. I mean, he seems to know absolutely everybody, especially in and around the London area. So if you're talking about boxing, you're talking about football, the, of course, if we're talking about Graham Racing, which is a, a passion that we, we share, of course, then, then you know, Morris would, would have the number of the person you need to contact. And uh, he probably uh, either scouted them when they were kids or he, he, he was in the, in the gym when they were training as, as aspiring boxers, or you know, he, he knew the man that bought that dog. I mean, Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital is, is just the most fantastic of charities. We know that the work that they do, it's, uh, it's a charity close to, to Morris's heart, of course. And thankfully, you know, people at Greyhound Racing, owners and, and trainers have come out in force. I think not just to support uh, Great Ormond Street, but to support Morris as well. And in doing that, then we're raising you know, plenty of money uh, for the charity as well. And, and hats off to Stapleford Abbots. It's, it's, it's a picturesque golf course in the heart of Essex. Good people, and in difficult times, Steve. You know, we, we, we've got a situation where we're all affected in some way by the global pandemic. It's tough to organise, but they have left no stone unturned in, into making this day as special as it can be. And yes, there are restrictions. All the players know that. But they're here to, to, to raise money where they can and, and also, and, and most importantly, in a safe environment. And well, well done to Stapleford Abbots and, and their management, their owners, for, for, for allowing this to happen and then also making it possible, facilitating you know, what is a, is a great afternoon's um, sport. It goes back um, 35 years and I was introduced to a, a, an opportunity to buy a greyhound with um, by Stan Kennett at Hackney, uh, but he wanted £2,000 for it, which was a huge amount of money. And uh, I, had, I didn't have that money, I had about 250 so I got seven other guys involved, some of which are here today, and we, we bought the Greyhound and it, it was a huge success. And um, suddenly we had eight members and then all of a sudden we had 80, 
and then we had 800 and now today I think it's 1,080. Uh, so um, it's gone on for a long while. I never planned it, uh, just the way it turned out. Morris struck me as someone that had a passion for good causes. Uh, and I share that passion and um, ever since then whenever he's come up with a clever idea to raise money then I've tried to help uh, with the help of all the members of the Champagne Club and I, I think you know I like to think we've made a good contribution over the years. He's an exceptional character um, even by what you see him pulling together today he can bring together sportsmen he can bring together members of parliament uh, every walk of life loves Maurice Newman and because he's a character and uh, 85 where where does he get his energy and of course he's got that lovely young lady behind him um, Vera who, who is, is probably the real driving force but between the two of them they've just been brilliant for as long as I can remember and I've been in the game a while As the sun sets behind us, it brings to a close another wonderful day of fundraising for Great Ormond Street Hospital. I'm delighted at the end of the day to be with the main man over 50 years of fundraising, Mars. You have had a very successful day again. Quite good, quite good. Come on then, what's the magic number? We'll raise £16,000 and the only charity, uh, they've raised two grand. Amazing. So it's 18000 on the day. That is superb, and of course, all of your long-standing friends turning up. Great support from all your pals new ones, new ones. and new ones as well. You had Teddy sharing him here. You had John Conti. All of your, your your old pals to support you on the day. You must be delighted. Yes, yes, and Rachel Casey. Yes, she's been there. <laughs> I've been here playing terrible golf, but I tell you what, it's been amazing. It's been wonderfully organised and a great success as ever. Thank you so much, and well done for the job you do. You are a marvellous man. And thank you for what you do. Thank you so much for joining us here at Stapleford Abbots. It really has been a terrific day, a successful day, and most importantly, it's been a big, big day for Great Ormond Street Hospital. Massive funds raised again.